as 2020 comes to an end, if there's anything we've learned, it's that life can be tough. Gainful employment, affordable housing, access to quality health care. All these things and more have become more difficult to achieve, especially for those among us who are dealing with addiction. While I was 27, I met someone at a gas station one day at the end of the day, and you know, we got into talking about something we had in common and started dating, and they were addicted to crack cocaine. That relationship ended at some point, but the addiction stayed, but it was more of a binge. I was a binge addict because I couldn't hold a job. I didn't have an aim. I wasn't pursuing a career. Well, I had a problem with alcohol, and alcohol led me to a series of events that I wound up being incarcerated. That moment when I got out of jail, I, I was homeless, so I didn't have anywhere to go. I wound up going to Brother Brian's mission. I knew that I had to get somewhere that could help me. You know, get something in order to get my life straightened out. So I could become a productive member of society again and get on with my life. Addiction is real, and it affects more people and more lives than we care to acknowledge. And the path to recovery isn't always in a straight line. But for many who are ready to change, like Robin, like John, that's all they needed was an opportunity. As John came to us, he was really in a, a pretty hopeless place. As he progressed through program, a change in perspective about what I want for my career. And I don't want to go back to just another job. I want to have a legitimate career. And all of that was culminating about the time that the IBW reached out to us five years ago. Across the country, not just in Alabama, what the Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW provide is a career in construction, an offer of a lifetime regardless of your background. Although uh, the homeless or at-risk population of Alabama may not be the ideal recruiting ground for some places, you know, we see those folks as people that just need a hand. You know, every one of us have made a mistake in our life. Every single one of us have. And we were looking for an opportunity to give back to our community. They came and talked to us one day. I said, well, that's, a, that's an opportunity. Sounds like it'll lead somewhere. The shelter program has been a real asset to us here in Birmingham and our recruitment efforts, being able to tap into some people who may have had a mistake or two in their life but are ready to make a change. And one of the things that we're seeing as we look into different parts of the workforce is that we need people who are ready to take an opportunity. And Rob and John did just that, along with many, many others who started their journey to sobriety, to a better life and a meaningful career. John's in his fifth year of apprenticeship, uh, started from the very beginning. We were able to put him on jobs that were just blocks away from the mission where he was living at the time. And he would walk, ride his bicycle, whatever it took to get to that job every day. And that's how dedicated he was to turning it around. Rob is in my class. He has a desire to learn and, and excel. He's curious. He, he constantly asks questions, and he's one of those students that um, you long for. Uh, I'm very proud of him. He, he, he makes me a better instructor. He's done very well in the program. He's done very well working for Southland Electric throughout his apprenticeship. We've seen him progress rapidly, and I'm certain he's going to end up being a really good electrician. Something that I think is, has really helped us be successful is the fact that NECA and the IBW are on the same page and have worked together with this program and all the different aspects of our apprenticeship program to make sure that we're being successful. It's not something that you see necessarily in everybody who comes through our trade school program. And so when you're finding people in this kind of situation, they're people who are more aware of what kind of value is in front of them and they're ready to take advantage of the opportunity. It's really easy to do what you've always known how to do. The hardest thing in the world is to change. Some people embrace it and, and even enjoy it. When I get home and see my son, he's the first thing that immediately validates everything I just did.
a lot of people to help you and the IBW and the mission down there, Brother Brian's did more, you know, that's really who is the success story. I'm just a product of what they're doing. They've guided me and held my hand the whole entire way. This time of year, in a year like this, being thankful for the opportunities presented to you and making a positive change is something all of us can believe in. For Electric TV in Birmingham, I'm Erica McClarity.